Hey guys, my name is Anna Fox. Welcome back to my channel. And speaking to you, edited is your girl in a dress. My mother told me to put it on. She was like, "You look so pretty," and I just did this makeup and ruined everything. But today we're watching the trailer of. I'm on my way to the. Mr. Rooster is back. I was beginning to think he's dead. He's not. Go for him. I'm on my way to that health retreat I was telling you about. Apparently, I'm in need of some fixing. Welcome to Tranquilum House. We're gonna get you well. This is gonna be the best thing. It has to be. Are you happy with your life? We're not in a good place. Either we try or. We don't. It's very intimate here. And how many guests are there? Nine total. I'm not sure I'm really supposed to be here. Some doors are meant to stay closed. Have you met her, the woman that runs it? She mixes and matches her guests like a cocktail. Supposedly, she completely changes people. You came here to heal. Journey. Sometimes it'll be unpleasant. I don't want to suffer. You're already suffering. I've been feeling unlike myself. There is nothing to fear. You're mine now. As soon as I saw Big Little Lies, I was like, okay, we're about to take a turn over here, ladies and gents. And we did. Apparently, I'm in need of some fixing. So in the very beginning, the very first thing that I noticed was this door and this like entire scene that we have in front of us. This looks like the insane asylum from Ratchet. Like, does it not? And then we saw things that are might I say barbaric? And I think it's like so similar. We're gonna get you well. This is gonna be the best thing. It has to be. Melissa looks just as adorable as ever. I love her. She just, every time she plays a character, no matter what the character might be, she puts this like adorableness in it that I'm just like, I love you. Are you happy with your life? We're not in a good place. Either we try or... I feel like it's nice how they showed us like every different type of person, like all these people, these nine people. Like look at this girl, look at Melissa, look at this guy. They all are really different. They look different. They must have different natures. And it's just like, it's like uh, all those reality shows where they, you, you know, they put you in a house. They're like, you're going to have to survive e each other's wrath for a month. And whoever wins gets a thousand dollars. I think they gave more money. Some doors are meant to stay closed. This is a very, very great coat. Secrets are secrets for a reason, and some things are better unknown. My mother, my mother says, not my mother, I mean, I call her mother, but she's not my mother. She says, behind the eyes, let the city burn down. Like, say a city burn da bur burns down and you don't even know what happened. What's it to you? You're in peace. So she was like, some secrets, let them remain secret. Because just digging that secret is not only going to take your peace away, it also puts you in danger. Because here's the thing. Knowing something is worse than knowing nothing. It's better to be complete ignorant than to know that little part and just get in trouble. Have you met her? And then we got another blessing. Luke, oh my God. Ever since I've seen him as Gaston, I love him. Like, Belle should have chosen Gaston, to be honest. Because the live action Gaston was actually trying to be nice for Belle. So here's the thing, the Beast was really bad. So it was Gaston. She spent time with Beast and he changed. If she had spent time with Gaston too, he might have changed too. 
Who knows? I have esteemed Gaston. You came here to heal. This scene looks like Out of Love and Anarchy when that guy, what was his name? Um, no, uh, I don't know. He went and he completely changed. He went to this place and he completely changed. I think I need to go to a place like this. But I don't want to change who I am, kind of. And also, here is, an, here is a compilation of all of Nicole's clips. Like, she is so beautiful, you guys. She's just gonna be sent to heaven because people like her should be walking in heaven. And I had to insert that shot of me. Come on, that looks like Gaba juice in that drop. Oh. This is going to be a wonderful journey. Sometimes it'll be unpleasant. Okay, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Put your headphones on and watch this trailer and listen to this music. You would be scared. And if you're not, let me know, because honestly, you got some guts that I clearly don't because this, this scared me. Nothing to fear. Amazon Prime actually released this clip before, you know, on the community page and uh, I saved it because like, boy oh boy, does this look interesting to me. <laughs> God, why are they like so calm? I, I would never. What's wrong with these people? They're acting unlike themselves. Boy, do I want to be yours, Nicole. You're so beautiful. You're so angelic. And nine perfect strangers, or are you going to make them perfect? Like, that's the, that's a, that's the question. I like movies like this. They're like, uh, they keep you on the edge. You're like, what's even going to happen? And the best part is if you don't watch the trailer, they're even more interesting because you're not expecting it to happen. Like, I'm giving you a recommendation. If you have not watched The Babysitter, Watch it without watching the trailer and you'd be surprised. Watch it. And this is just perfect. Nicole Kidman, Melissa McCarthy, and Luke Evans. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. For the second time in the day, that was it for this video. really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Also, comment below and let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. Subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. And also check out my edits channel at LNF Edits and my Instagram at LNF underscore books. Go and check them all out and I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. I'm the only other fox in this world and I personally don't understand one thing about Nicole Kidman. Why was she this happy when she got divorced from Tom? A lot of people say because Tom was so abusive. I'm like, honey, if I get someone, half of someone's entire property, I'll be this happy too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. Bye. Baby,